Hey guys, this is Barbaros Barbaros Gaming. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to be talking about montages. Everybody does them. Everybody loves doing them. Everybody loves showing off their skills. But there's the people out there that just don't know how to do them. They would love to do them. There's many, many ways you can do them. You can do them on PS4, Xbox, uh, on PC. Today we're going to be talking about specifically creating gaming montages with Shotcut on PC. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that you that you have is you want to have something to record with. Now I use OBS, which I'm going to drag it over here onto the screen. Uh, OBS is real simple. You set up your scenes and your sources. I've got a gameplay recording uh, scene where only thing I have is display capture. So you're going to want to do that. Once you get that set up, all you're going to do is click record and then start playing your game. When you're done click stop record and boom there's your, and then it'll output to your video file wherever your video is output to and then this is where we'll pick up from here so what you're going to do is you're going to want to open shotcut alright once you get shotcut open all you're going to do is you're going to open your video file I kicked it old school and I uh, threw in some black ops 2 so once you get your video loaded I had to cut out like a minute. I need to cut out like a minute worth of this crap. Um, you know, obviously nobody's gonna want to see you in the menu because everybody knows what the menu looks like. Um, so we'll start from all oh, right here. Oh, I see, I already died here. <laughs> By the way, this is not a montage of winning. This is a failing montage that I'm going to put together because I royally, royally suck at Black Ops 2 for the PC. I used to be good with it for the, uh, for the Xbox. PC, different story. Alright, so I need to, first off, I need to cut out like a, from this point all the way to the beginning because it's nothing of me setting up and being in the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately cut this out. And boom. Alright, now we can get started on the gameplay. All right. Once you're started on the gameplay, see, I immediately die. You're gonna want to do your little marks um, for each spot that you die, or obviously get a good kill, of course. Um, and you're gonna split it at the playhead by hitting the S button, and you're gonna move on to the next one. There's quite a few here. There's quite a few because, like I said, I suck at Black Ops. I got a kill, oh my god. I get knifed in the back right here. Alright, so I die there. Alright, so I split it there. We're gonna f I'm just going to skip through all of this because a lot of it's just going to be wasting time. Alright, so I died there. I'm going to split it there. Boom. I died there. I'm going to split it there. And then I'm going to do one more. Just the sake of saving time. And plus, by doing this many times, you at least get it how to do it. It's very, very simple. Alright, so boom, I died from an airstrike. Alright, so we don't need any of this, any of the rest of this, so we're just going to cut all that out. We're only going to be using about. Mm, not very much maybe by the time I cut all this down because you still need to go back and of course after you know each kill you only want a short amount per kill otherwise people are going to get bored just watching you run around the map or deaths however you look at it
Alright. So I'm going to cut this down to... I don't want anything looking... I don't want me looking good at all, so I don't even want an assist or anything. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cut all this out. So to cut out, I forgot to mention if you don't already know, uh, to cut out what video you don't want, which is whatever's highlighted, you're going to hit X. And when you hit X, that will bring it, that will delete the clip that you had selected, plus it'll bring everything forward, and it won't leave any gaps. So, all right. So for the next one. Yeah, that was a good one. Good for you. All right, I'm gonna split this one and play head there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Bring it forward. This isn't gonna be a, a very short video, as far as me doing my, my little montage itself. All right, split it, cut it, cut it. All right, this is gonna be the last kill, or last death, I should say. I fail epically at this game. <laughs> On PC, that is. We'll rephrase that with a keyboard and a mouse. Because I'm, I'm decent with a controller. Give me a controller, I'm good. At least I think. I think. I'm decent. Alright, so we're going to split the last one here. We're going to get rid of that clip because that shows nothing that I want to show you. Alright. Here's, you got your gaming montage, it is all done. Or you got your clip selected of what you want. Alright. I bet you're asking. Well, I see people that do some transitions. You know, it fades into the next one. I want to do that. Okay, no problem. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click whatever scene you're going to want to you're going to want to transition, and you're simply going to click and drag it over onto that scene and you're gonna get this purple and blue box looking thing here that's your transition that is simply you the video transitioning into the other one so it's okay if this pops up don't worry alright so before you can drag your next scene over on top of the other one you have to get rid of this green gap here don't ask why you just have to easiest way is to right click into your green and click remove that closes the gap there and allows you to drag over onto the next I don't want that much transition. I just want a little bit, not a lot. There we go. Alright, right click, remove, drag, transition, right click, remove, drag, add your transition. Alright, so this is it. Watch, here you go. Here's your finished product, what it's going to look like. Obviously not as grainy because this is just rendering. Fades. <laughs> Fades into the next, and fades into the next. Boom! And that's it. That is it, guys. Um, other thing you might want to do, some people do it, uh, just depends. Since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm not going to actually add it, but what you can do is add you some audio, which is just simply click here and add audio track, and you're going to open an audio track, and you're going to click and drag it onto the audio timeline. It's just as simple as that. That's it, guys. That is your montage. Now, obviously, when you're done, you're going to go over to the export tab. Make sure all your settings are right. Export file and find where you're going to save it and this is going to be fail montage. I already have one here because this is a edited video from earlier so and this is going to be a very quick video obviously because it's a very short video it's like a whole whopping 27 seconds long okay guys and we're back your product is finished as it says they're done done son alright so what you're going to do is you're going to find it and we're going to open it and take a look at it
I figured I'd let the whole thing play through because it's a whole, you know, whopping 30 seconds long, so no big deal. But that's it, guys. The only other thing I would suggest um, is add you like a title because um, everybody likes to actually know what they're watching before they just open up a video and see just you dying a bunch. So if they knew, <laughs> if they knew that they were walking into a gaming or a fail montage, they're going to be, you know, obviously a little bit more forgiving. All right, so here's your title screen. You can get it that way, or you could simply do like I did with everything else. Do like a transition. Boom. And boom, there's your there's your fail montage. Looking all pretty and got you a title screen, just quick thrown together title screen, transitions into the videos and everything else. That's it guys. That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I see a lot of people doing montages and they're awesome. I love watching them because it shows me the skill that I don't have that other people do have, especially in some of these first person shooters and some of these other games, these multiplayer games more of an MMO kind of guy, so I do like to dabble in the occasional shooter once in a while. When I do, I know I'm going to suck, so I do not have high expectations at all. <laughs> so if you like this video, please click the like button, and if you enjoy the content of my channel, please click the subscribe button, and if you wish to be notified whenever I go upload a new video, just uh, click that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I have new videos that are released. Also, check me out on Twitter. I'm trying to build my Twitter follower my followers on Twitter. It's uh, just twitter.com uh, backslash Barbaros Gaming, one word. So my Twitter handle is at Barbaros Gaming, one word. Alright guys, this is Barbaros with Barbaros Gaming. I greatly appreciate you watching and have a good night.